What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then we're gonna be looking at three different Shopify dropshipping stores that all have proven sales of over $1 million. So the best way to become successful at anything is to pretty much find somebody who's already doing it well and has a proven track record, look at what they're doing and pretty much replicate it. So today we're gonna to be looking at three different stores, what their best selling products are and kind of like the core fundamentals that all three stores do similar to each other that ultimately add up then to make a successful Shopify dropshipping store. However, before we get into it, as always then, that I am gonna be giving away a free 10 minute consultation call with this video. All you've gotta to do to enter then is simply hit that like button and leave a comment down below. The winner from the previous video then will be announced at the end of today's video. So if you did leave a comment on my previous video, make sure you stay tuned to the end to see that. And that being said then guys, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys? So let's jump straight into this. And to start with then, I just wanna show you quickly how I actually found these stores. Um, I do a lot with this website actually, and it's simply just exchangemarketplace.com. And essentially what it is, is where people come to sell their Shopify stores. And they don't always have to be dropshipping ones either. So if we just go back to the home page then make sure you click on this business type button here and then click drop shipping and what that's going to do is just show you all of these stores which are using the same business model as me and you then and simply you can scroll through look at what their total revenue is what the asking price is and just click on them and essentially find out some details and all the ones that don't show this private listing um, here such as this one then vital gear then you can actually click on it and go to their site and check them out so these three that we're going to be looking at today like i said have all done well over one million dollars in sales and this is the first one that we're going to be looking at then it's called petite bellow and if we just scroll down to the total revenue and total traffic as you can see there's like this stamp here that says revenue data comes directly from shopify and cannot be edited by the seller so we know that this is a proven sales and these guys are doing some decent some pretty decent numbers so all we've got to do then is simply click on the URL and it's going to take us straight to their website and the first thing I want to mention then is this pop-up here as you can see they're offering value in return for somebody's email address now there's arguments then for and against using pop-ups um, straight from the beginning me personally then I like to establish a store a bit better before I start asking people for that email address if I come across as quite a small brand to begin with so I have quite a small social media following then people aren't going to trust me as much and therefore they probably won't give me their email address however if I'm a bit more established and I say have a social media following of half a million people across all platforms then people will trust you more instantly um, you, you only have to consider things yourself it, a lot of this comes down to common sense and how you yourself would look at things at the end of the day who would you purchase from would you purchase from someone who has 10 likes on their Facebook page or somebody who has over a hundred thousand immediately these people with a hundred thousand are gonna look more established they've been in business longer and they've got more support and therefore they just come across as a more legit business so before I start asking people for something off of them then I like to establish my stores and my social media followings first. So um, at the end of the day, I guess it's kind of up to you guys. You can experiment with it and keep track. Make sure you have Google Analytics installed on your stores and then you can keep track of when and where people exit your store from. So people, if people are exiting straight away because you're asking them straight away for an email address, then you know not to actually use that tactic to begin with. So we'll just have a quick flick through. There's not a lot more I can really say about the homepage. Um, it is what it is. As you can see, it's just clean, crisp, pretty professional, as you would expect from a store that's done these sort of numbers. And as we can clearly see then, they're in the baby niche. Now, for anybody who's watching this video and they're not quite sure what niche to go into, then the baby niche is absolutely huge. It's such an easy one to do really well in, purely because Facebook lends itself to more kind of passionate subjects and obviously the baby niche is really passionate and because it's about kids and those kind of products you can advertise if you advertise them well like these sort of, of images here where you can see babies having a good time laughing then it's the sort of thing people want to share on Facebook and therefore they tend to do really well so all I'm going to do then is 
use this tool here called Commerce Inspector. Um, I don't use the premium, there is a premium one, I'm not affiliated in any way. Um, if you are involved in dropshipping, then I 100% recommend you install this purely because the amount of information it gives you for free definitely makes it worth it. So just on the homepage of this tool then, it tells you this last product created date, which is pretty important because it tells you how active this site is and if there's still kind of paying attention to what they're doing and still adding products and still up to date essentially. And as we can see, they are February 23rd, 2019. It's obviously very recent. So they're still very much running this business um, as a proper business, if that makes sense. You can see the theme as well. So again, if you're a beginner, you're not quite sure what to theme, what theme to go with. If you find a store that you like the layout of, then of course it gives you ideas. However, the best thing I like about this tool then is this best selling tab here. So if we just go ahead and click that and it's gonna take us straight to their best selling products. And this is pretty much where all the value is in this video because these guys are doing 1.7 million in sales per year. We can, these, these are all their best selling products. So it just tells us straight away that these are winning products that we can go ahead, create something similar Obviously, I don't recommend whatsoever copying these like for like unless you can find them on AliExpress. But I'm guessing then, depending on what their delivery um, service is, and these are probably print on demand products. So I'm guessing then that these guys are probably using print on demand because the designs are so simple. In fact, we can check if we try and find their shipping details. So shipping and returns. Process and order two to seven business days, and then standard shipping is 10 to 45 business days. So as you can see, these guys are drop shipping in the same sense me and you are. In fact, they're probably sourcing these products from AliExpress. I bet we can find, let's try and find their best seller. So lazy days. Now, if we can actually find this, then this is huge because it actually, it pretty much gives us a business model, an actual fully functioning business that we can go ahead and pretty much just start straight away. So let's just try lazy days. Uh, and baby boys clothing so straight away we can see i think that's pretty much the exact same thing so to me that is exactly the same thing so this is huge so we can see exactly what these got in fact let's sort it by orders um just there, therefore we've got probably a better established supplier if they've got the most orders we can see exactly what they're buying it for so so united states via e-packet so i think these guys advertise they were mainly to us as well so free shipping in the us so they're selling it for 25 dollars via e-packet if we go for three months so at the best then they're paying five pound 34 at the worst they're oh it's still the same price so no matter what size you go for then it's the same price if we just change it to dollars as well then we'll get a better kind of accurate representation of what their profit margin is going to be free shipping to us via e-packet and we're looking at seven dollars and they're selling it for 25 dollars, i believe so it's a 4x markup that gives you a huge margin to work with when it comes to advertising this product on facebook so let's just check if these guys are charging more if you go for a bigger size so they're not they're charging the exact same price then regardless of size if it was me personally then i would probably charge a tiny bit more every time you went up in a size just to try and squeeze a bit more money out of your customer. Um, I don't think anyone would have a problem with that to be honest. So that being said then guys, that is store number one. If you're sat there now and you're at the point where you wanna start a store and you're not sure what niche or what product, then you've pretty much got everything in front of you now. You've got a proven product that we know sells really well. We've even got the price that you can sell it at and we've actually got the supplier and where to source it from as well so that being said that's store number one let's go into store number two um, i'm getting a bit conscious now of how long this video is going to be so i'll try and speed up a bit um, so store number two then is called geeky get as we can see it gives us a link as well so we can click it go to it i've already opened it up because there was something i wanted to show you that these guys actually use the pop-up technique as well and going back to that initial point i prefer to establish myself on social media um, a lot more before i start asking for people to essentially give me something. Um, and just to show you, it'll kind of illustrate why you should do that. If we have a look at their social media followings, they've got a Facebook account with over half a million followers, Instagram over 48,000 and Twitter 15,000. So as you can see, that people checking these guys out will see that they're a well-established business and therefore they're just gonna trust on that a bit more and therefore they'll be more willing to hand over their email address. Let's just quickly check out their revenue. And as we can see in the last three years, they've done over $2 million. So again, another healthy business. So let's check out their website then. Let's get rid of all these pop-ups. No, thank you. 
So initial thoughts then, it's very clean and professional looking as you would expect. Um, just to point out they're using the free shipping bar, I recommend everybody use this just to draw the customer's attention to, to essentially giving them some free value because the more value you give someone, the, the more chance you have of them making a purchase. These guys use it as well, I think they did 10% off and these guys are advertising then some products which have a huge 80% off and they've also got the link there which you can click which I assume would just take you to those products that have the big discounts which it does. So as you can see they've got the little tags as well, 60%, 80%, 60%. Um, and then another quick note I wanna mention is these icons here. As you can see, they've taken the time to create unique and specific icons that are in keeping them with kind of like the casual theme of the store and everything just kind of fits in really nicely. And to do this then isn't gonna be expensive. You could easily find a designer on fiverr.com who would create you some product collection icons like this for probably five or $10. So just scrolling it down then, just to get a general feel of the store, as we can see, um, you've probably seen these products yourself on AliExpress, um, which just confirms that we could go and source the exact same ones. However, what we're interested in then is the theme they're using. Now, what you'll find is that some themes will have weird names like this, and what this usually means then is it's a custom theme that they've probably paid for to be customized, um, to be used in a certain way. But what we're interested in then is the best selling products. So let's just scroll down to find some of the best ones. And these are essentially then their best selling products. Just to prove it then, in case you haven't seen any of these on AliExpress before, I know for a fact, um, I've actually sold these myself, the gold play playing cards. If we just head over to AliExpress and put that in. Uh, so 24K playing cards. We can see you can get the exact same product. Um, and then I've also seen this gold rose before as well. So again, if you're not sure what sort of products to sell, these are some tried and tested proven products that we know are producing their sales since we can actually see the store's revenue figures here. So that being said, let's move on to the third and final store, um, purely because I don't wanna make this video too long. So these guys are asking then for nearly three quarters of a million dollars for their store. They're doing an average monthly profit of about 50K. Um, an av average monthly revenue of nearly $200,000. And if we just look at their total revenue then for the past, since May 2016, so we're looking at what, two and a half years-ish, they've done a little bit over $6 million. So this is a huge, huge store. These guys are doing pretty decent numbers. So let's have a look at their best-selling products as well. And the first thing we see then is we've got this spin thing here. Now this, if you're going to go for pop-ups that are going to be asking people for their email addresses, then I suggest going for an interactive one like this. But again, I wouldn't do it until you're more, more established on social media. So again, they've got the free shipping bar offering some sort of value to the customer. Um, and just scrolling down then, one thing I'd like to put out, point out, in fact, with all these stores is they're really simple. I mean, look at this. They've hardly put any effort into this homepage. They've got the three different product collections here. They've got a welcome to Lenny Lemons, just some kind of like introduction into who they are. Um, and what, what I really like about this, in fact, is the fact that it's really personal. So they've mentioned the name of the owner and the fact that she's a mum of five. So it makes it relatable to people coming onto this store. People with kids are friends and know other people with kids because they have that connection, they have that thing in common, and this is building a relationship with the customer. This is absolutely just perfect marketing. So dear millennial mama, I'm assuming this is their blog, go to their blog, so they wrote, write different things. So again, they're offering more value to the people coming onto their store. And it, the more value you give to your customer, then the better relationship you're gonna be with, the better relationship you're gonna build up with them. I know it sounds stupid, but it is possible to build a relationship with people online without even talking to them in a sense. If you give people things for free, they're gonna like you and they're gonna like your brand and therefore they're gonna tell others about it and they're gonna buy from you. So what we're interested in then is their best sellers. So again, we'll head over to Commerce Inspector Tool. We can see the theme they're using is called Backup. If we just click on best selling then, um, and. Their products aren't as unique actually as what I expected them to be. As you can see, they're all quite broad products. Now what this tells me, especially with their best selling product being a gift card, what this tells me is that people really like this brand because 
These general products here, for example, they're just woolly hats that you can get in any shop. They're coming onto this store and they're paying $25 for essentially a matching woolly hat that they can share with their child. So that tells me that people are really passionate about this website and about this brand because they're buying gift cards as well. And people don't buy gift cards for themselves. They buy it for friends, for family. So it tells me that people are spreading this brand's name through word of mouth simply by buying gift cards for each other now what it also tells me as well that these guys must have a really strong following across social media or a huge email list because to sell broad products like this takes a lot of either money on advertising or like I just mentioned to have a massive social media following so let's just go and try and do some digging find out some details so I've been in business for two solid years, over 6 million sales. And as we can see then, they've got over 400K on across all social medias. So these guys simply just putting out a post about a certain product is going to bring it in sales, which helps massively with um, profitability. And they have a customer list then of over 110,000 people. That is just nuts. So one email campaign will go out to potentially over 100,000 people. So that alone, just think how many sales that is going to bring in. And then let's try and find some details on what they've spent on Facebook as well. Let's look for numbers, numbers, numbers. So we spent over 1 million on advertising through Facebook and Google. So the amount of volume and data they would have pushed through their Facebook account, that pixel will be massively matured. And again, Facebook will know exactly who their ideal customers are. So when it comes to marketing, then it's just going to be really efficient at picking out customers. As you can see, they've spent approximately 1 million through Facebook and Google to do over 6 million in sales. So that's a pretty good return on your money as well. When it comes with Facebook, then I usually find that the more you spend, then the more efficient your pixel becomes at finding the ideal customers that are going to essentially not just make a purchase, but spend more than the next person as well. And just to look through their screenshots as well, I find it pretty interesting. Um, look at their customer return rate. So that tells us straight away what we just spoke about. So the fact that they have a returning customer rate of over 10% is actually really, really good. You'll usually find with most dropshipping stores, it's kind of around the 3, 4, maybe 5% mark. So to have nearly 15% is just absolutely um, pretty amazing, to be honest. So that being said then guys, that's all three stores. If you're still watching the video, then much appreciated. I really do appreciate the people who stay till the very end of the videos because it really does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you very much. If you did enjoy the video, then of course, please do leave a like. And that being said then, let's announce the winner of the 10 minute consultation call from the last video. What is going on then guys? So here's the previous video. Um, it's 3000 sub special Q&A plus giveaway. Um, as you can see then we've got 56 comments. I'm just going to copy and paste the URL, stick it into this YouTube random comment picker and that's going to take, that's going to choose our winner essentially. So get YouTube comments, uh, number two, start raffle and pick the random winner. And who's it going to be? So Igor Korove, apologies if I haven't pronounced your name correctly. Please do send me a DM, leave a comment down below, whatever way you choose. Just make sure you get in contact with me and then we can set up the call. So that being said then guys, that's the winner announced. Thank you very much for winning, for watching this video, sorry. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you guys in the next one.